Sai Nainam. Sai Nainam is a brief introduction to Sri Satya Sai Loka Seva Institutions located at Alike in the Dakshina Kannada district. We offer this short documentary depicting the activities of these institutions at the divine lotus feet of beloved Bhagawan Baba. Sri Satya Sai Loka Seva Institutions are being run under the benign blessings and loving care of Bhagawan Sri Satya Sai Baba, the infinite who has incarnated in finite form to make the world aware of the presence of the indescribable divine power and to lead mankind inward, onward, upward, forward, goodward and godward. His mission is the re-establishment of righteousness, dharma, in the world driven with ill will, hatred, discord, disharmony and conflicts. He exerts indelible influence on millions of people from across the continents and brings about a transformation in their hearts by his pure selfless love, his superhuman powers, by his teachings which are simple, enlightening and uplifting. He emphatically exhorts to the people that there is no higher spiritual sadhana than selfless service and he is ever engaged in various service activities for the betterment of humanity. Free education provided by him to thousands of students in his educational institutions. Pure perennial supply of drinking water provided by him to lakhs of people in the Pachad Rayalaseema region. Free operations and treatment in Sri Satya Sai Super Speciality and General Hospitals. These are all shining models for the world to follow. Reverend Madhyal Narayana Bhatt of hallowed memory was an ordained devotee of Bhagavan Baba. His heart was vibrant with intense devotional and patriotic fervor and his life was a saga of sacrifice, dedication, determination and service. He was the founder of Lokaseva Vrinda, an educational, constructive and spiritual organization way back in 1960 in a village near Alike in Dakshina Kannada district. In 1973, a branch of this was started by him in Muddenahalli in Kolar district. He offered himself and Lokaseva Vrinda including all the property he had inherited at the altar of Bhagavan Baba's mission and built the institutions brick by brick. He kindled the fire of devotion and patriotism in the hearts of quite a good number of young men by precept and practice and being inspired by him, these young men decided to take an oath of celibacy and dedicate themselves in the service of society. These young men now form the core of these institutions. Sri Narayana Bhatt's cherished longing was to offer these institutions at the lotus feet of Bhagawan Baba and thus have a sense of fulfillment in life. On 8th January 1977, at the age of 50, he shed his mortal coil and eternally merged in Bhagawan Baba. Sri Narayana Bhatt's longing was fulfilled and his ardent prayers were answered when on 14th August 1978 the all compassionate and all merciful Bhagawan Baba graciously took over Lokaseva Vrinda into his fold. Lokaseva Vrinda became Sri Satya Sai Lokaseva Trust with Bhagawan Baba graciously consenting to be its sole trustee and from that day onwards these institutions began to grow from strength to strength. The educational institutions which started in Alike in 1963 are located in midst of enchanting scenic beauty situated away from the din and dust and the maddening cries of towns and cities and girdled by lush green trees and plants on all sides. This has become an academy with coconut groves and areca gardens 
whispering sai ram sai ram to every wave of wind the institution set to alike were sanctified by bhagwan baba's divine visit in january 1979 and again in january 2001 on the auspicious occasion of his gracious visit in 2001 bhagwan baba in his divine discourse told the huge gathering of devotees that he would start a superior hospital in alike where treatment to the patients will be completely free of cost the splendid spacious hospital building with the look of a temple was ready by november 2002 under the divine command of bhagwan baba it was inaugurated by professor anil kumar prashant niliyam with shri b n narasimha murthy warden shri satya sai hostel brindavan campus presiding over the function the atmosphere was surcharged with intense devotional fervor enthusiasm and joy swami nivas bhagwan baba's residence with a delightful garden and lawns in front of it is a center of attraction and the sanctity and the vibrations here fill one's heart and soul with reverence and devotion shri satya sai lok seva pre university college importing value based education with science commerce and arts combinations attracts students from the length and breadth of karnataka the results in the puc public exams have been 100% for the last many years with many students getting distinction and others obtaining first classes with bhagwan baba's infinite grace and by the sincere efforts of the staff and students this college created a record when its students got the first ranks both in the medical and engineering faculties in the cet conducted by the government of karnataka in may 2003 bhagwan baba graciously inaugurated a new grand hostel building for the pre university students in january 2001 and this spacious edifice accommodates about 300 students shri satya sai lok seva vidya kendra totally residential cbse affiliated school was started in the year 1983 the magnificent large building houses about 400 students for the last 18 years it has been securing 100% results in the 10th standard in the all india secondary school examinations a guest house stands majestically opposite to the playgrounds shri satya sai kala mandir is the venue from where bhagwan baba gave the illuminating divine discourse to a huge gathering of devotees in january 2001 recently on december 11 a yagna was performed here in an atmosphere surcharged with devotion sanatana sarathi a monthly magazine published by shri satya sai lok seva publications division is dedicated for the propagation of the divine teachings of bhagwan shri satya sai baba this magazine which is illuminating and enlightening is printed in shri satya sai vocational training center and reaches the houses of thousands of people in karnataka every year many books on bhagwan baba or about his teachings are published by shri satya sai lok seva publications bapu ji balaniketan is the name of the orphanage run by shri satya sai lok seva trust in alike every year children who have lost both their parents or any one of them and those who are economically very backward or admitted to this bapuji balani ketan provides them with nutritious food clothes books and all their needs they are sent to the schools run by the trust children are admitted without any distinction like caste or creed or religion 
swimming is the healthiest exercise it is said swimming daily for some time keeps a person active agile trim and as fit as a fiddle in the midst of the areca gardens belonging to the institution we can find a big swimming pool which is indeed a center of attraction to the students under the supervision of an expert teacher students spend some time in swimming here we find a vast spacious hall hmm you have guessed it correctly it's the prayer hall where the students and the staff sing the glory of god and pray to him three times a day apart from prayers and bhajans other cultural programs are also held here all the materials for this building were sent by swami from brindavan and this was inaugurated by him in 1979 This tile roof building is Prema Kutir where dedicated karyakartas reside Sri Madiyal Narayan Bhat the founder president of the institution also stayed here itself and led a life of self effacing simplicity This samadhi mantap where Sri Narayan Bhat was laid to rest evokes poignant memories of the saintly person who so for the sake of the society till his last breath when shri narayan bhat passed away in 1979 swami sent a telegraphic message narayan bhat eternally merged in me don't bring the body be bold this indeed was a touching finale to a great life now let us proceed to sharada vihar another campus of this institution located at a distance of about 2 kilometers from Satya Sai Vihar Sri Satya Sai Lok Seva High School with a hostel for boys attached to it stands here and students get valuable education with modern facilities A beautiful temple with Sri Gopala Krishna as the presiding deity stands at arm's length from Sharada Vihar Villagers visit this temple regularly and worship Lord Krishna. Vani Vihar greets you if you move further for about a kilometer from Sharada Vihar. Here, a high school for girls and a higher primary school for boys and girls are run by Sri Satya Sai Lok Seva Trust. Both these schools are non-residential. The house where Sri Narayana Bhat was born and fostered reminds us of the great sacrifice made by him his mother Shrimati Mariyala Gauramma and his sister Kumari Devaki Bhat they dedicated all their ancestral property at the altar of Swami's mission this house was sanctified by Bhagwan's gracious visit in January 1979 the house has been dedicated at the lotus feet of swami and it is now called shri satya sai mandir the penance of shri madiyal narayan bhat bore fruit when bhagwan baba graciously took over lok seva vrinda into his fold in 1978 in 1979 during his visit to satya sai vihar he stayed there for 2 days and filled the hearts of students teachers and karyakartas with devotion and joy he visited all the three campuses showering benediction and blessings on all during his second visit to satya sai vihar in 2001 he fulfilled the desire of sri narayana bhat by announcing that a superior hospital would be started there within a year and treatment would be completely free of cost he inaugurated the new hostel building and filled the hearts of thousands of people with the thrill of divine love